Well, as this mournful holiday draws to a close, earlier today I spoke with prominent Israeli lawyer and Jewish educator Moshe ben Horin about this holiday and the lessons all of us should take away from it. Here's more. Thank you so much uh, for being here. I want to ask, because we're an international channel, and many of our viewers are not Jewish, or they're Jewish and secular and don't really know that much about Tisha B'Av. Tell me to you, what is this holiday, this date, about, and why is it significant now in the year 2021? I think the title of this day is the unjustified hated that we are uh, facing during this time. In this time when the Jewish people are divided in so many different groups, and each group have, has it, their own opinion, and they think that the justice is on their side, and they try to fight <coughs> over what they believe. I think that Tisha B'Av is the point that we've uh, imagined the destruction of the Holy Te Temple because of this unjustified hatred. Uh, one of the points that we must put uh, uh, and emphasize on that First of all, we're all Jews. We have the same goal, we have the same country, we have the same people. We can't divide ourselves to different parties. These different parties, that each one of them take a side and he think that he's the right side, it's the wrong way to try to unite, to unite the Jewish people. Now, Tisha B'Av, comes to remark and to remind us why we shouldn't divide ourselves to different parties, why we must be united, why we must be tolerate with the opinion of the other one, why we can't uh, uh, fight over things that are, for my opinion, they are nonsense. Because in the same, in, in my opinion, we all have the same goal. The goal is the uh, building of the Jewish country, the Jewish state. Uh, we are play, we're praying for the same God, all of us. And it really doesn't make any difference if we are a religious and non-religious from the left wing or the right wing, if we are Haredi or we are not Haredi. <laughs> That's not the issue. The issue is to remember what was the reason why the Holy Temple was destructed. And if you remember that, I believe that if we will put this uh, goal in front of our eyes, uh, we know that uh, uh, we can avoid different arguments, uh, unnecessary arguments which is divided the Jewish people. The, the first holy temple destroyed by the Babylonians, the second holy temple by the Romans. By the Romans. Enemies abroad, external enemies. Now that, we, that the Jewish people are back here in Zion and in the Holy Land, is it enemies within? Is it the, in, the internal divisions, Jew versus Jew? Is this the fight now? Uh, Obviously, today. of course, because the Prophet all, uh, is said already that those who's going to destroy you, it's the people from inside of you. Now, we know how to fight against the enemies outside of Israel. We have a very strong uh, uh, army, we have a very strong air force, we have a very strong uh, 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 commanders who, who who know how to lead Israel to any battle for fight. The problem is that we don't know how to fight against the hate inside of us. If we will know how to fight against this hate, and we know how to combine together all the opinions, and try to see how we are going to avoid from this kind of uh, uh, extreme uh, opinions, then we can have the peace. 
the fact that the Roman and the Babylon were destroyed the, the holy temple, the temple was a subject. It was a, an, an object, sorry. It was an object. The thing is that the spirit, that's the most important thing. What we are doing now, it's actually, we're trying to destroy our sp spirit and instead of rebuilding the, the spirit of the Jewish people. So when the prophet says that those who are going to destroy Israel or the Jewish people are going from inside of Israel, uh, he's right because we must to build our spirit to be a bit uh, you know sometime to forgive to other people to try to combine each other to bring them together to be united try to be m more tolerant instead of you know being always I'm right I'm right and he's wrong is this what you think about when you pray when you are feeling hungry from fasting on a day like today, should Jews, do you think, who can I forgive? Who can I listen to? How can I be a better friend and listener to other people? Is this what's on your mind? Obviously, see, I'm as a lawyer, by the end of every day, although I'm coming to the courtroom and I have the hearing of this or that, by the end of the day, I'm, doing some, some kind of account with myself and the account is if I was wrong or right. I think that each one of us, if by the end of the day will do a, a self account with himself and see what he did for the benefit of the Jewish people, then we can go and reach to the goal. But if we're not going to do that, and each one of us going to, you know, be deep inside his opinion, and is not going to open his opinion for others, the destructions will come very fast. That's what I think, and I think that many other people in Israel think like me. The problem is that the leaders are supposed to, so, to think like us, and if they will think like us, I believe that the peace among us will come quite quick. Beautifully expressed, beautifully said. Thank you so much for being with us on Zoom In on the show.